Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel, Monday morning. Usually on Monday mornings, I like to share all the great tips you guys give me, because some of you may not have time to read all the comments, and I know I've mentioned this before, the comments have so much excellent information. Also, there's so many fabulous other YouTubers out there. I wanted to share the knowledge that I've learned from you guys. Let me get started. One of the first things I've learned, and I know I've told you about the sweet young lady before, her name is Wendy, and she's over at The Frugal Minimalist, one of my favorite new channels. And she said, when you want to order or buy something, make sure to check the bad reviews first. I thought this was excellent advice because a lot of times when you go to websites, we'll just say you go to Amazon.com and you want to check out you know, um, a product that you want to buy. And a lot of times, obviously, the good reviews are up at the top and you look at those first. Well, it's good to read the bad reviews. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy the product, but this gives you a more balanced approach and it may save you money from buying something that may not be a good value for you. So you take the good with the bad. That's number one. Number two, check the fine print. I know this seems obvious. A lot of times if it's too good to be true, it is definitely too good to be true. A lot of things. They'll make it so you're kind of looking at something going, huh, how can this be so inexpensive? You want to ask them, what's the catch? A great example of this might be a health club. Oh, it's $9.99 a month. But you find out that's their bottom value and you only get to work out on the machines. You don't get to go out on to the classes with that. And also, you have to pay $100 when you sign up. And I'm not thinking any special health club at all, guys. I'm just giving an example of something. Or one of my friends recently wanted to purchase a, uh, some diet meal plans and she thought it was a great value. Well, she found out that once she signed up and after her, uh, after like, I think it was seven days, her card was going to get charged $140 and it was like a once a month fee plus an additional monthly fee. And they never said that up front. So read the fine print and get to know what you're getting yourself into. That's really important. And number three, and I heard this on another YouTube channel. I thought it was excellent advice. I know we've spoken a lot about time management. That's a topic you're going to hear a lot about on this channel because we're always reevaluating and asking ourselves, hey, is what we're doing working for us right now? I thought this was really good advice. You know how we have these daily to-do lists. Think each week before the beginning of the week starts. What is the one task, or you could say two tasks, whatever you feel you can handle. What's the most important thing you've got to get done that week? I think that's really important. For me this week, the taxes are the most important thing. For you, it might be, you know, making some doctor appointments or finishing or um, doing some cleaning before a relative comes and visits. Each of us have something. So pick your most important task and make sure to hone in on that for the week. Number three, and Rochelle gave me this one, and I haven't done this to be honest. If you have tons of pens, go through them. See which ones work and which ones don't and get rid of the ones that don't so they're not taking up so much space. I thought that was good. Another advice, and I've only got a couple more here, is if you get your hair done or your grocery shopping or you need clothes, if you could wait an additional week before you go purchase any of these items, one week, two week, even any week that you can add on that you wait for these items saves money. I thought that was really good advice. So if you get your hair done every six weeks, maybe you can get it done every seven weeks. That would be an example. Um, Q said asked this or said this advice see who your employer is partnered with to see if you can get any discounts i thought that was really good i had a friend of mine she worked for a restaurant and she found out some local restaurants around her partnered with the restaurant she was at so she could get half off at lunch at their place too so the, those are additional discounts last but not least and um rachel lynn gave this advice Ask for discounts wherever you go. The worst that they can say is, no, I'm sorry, I can't honor that discount. Say, what is the best deal that you can give me right now? A lot of times you just might get a discount. You don't know unless you ask. So I know those were a lot of ideas, guys. I tried to go through them quickly. I thought there were a lot of good ones this week. Let me know in the comments below. Any other money-saving, time-saving, health tips, any tip that you want to give on any subject, Put in the, um, in the comments below. I want to hear from you. This is Money Mom signing off, and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.